Divine Honesty and I'm back with another reading. Today I will be reading for my Geminis. My like you one minute in the next I don't even know you. <laughs> my little I hate you and I love your ass. <laughs> now I fuck with Geminis on the real. I have one of my best friends a Gemini so I'm very you know I have a love inside for a Gemini but you know Y'all can be, you know, a little wish-washy, okay? A little wish-washy. Very charming. Now, if this reading does not resonate, that's completely fine. Just go ahead and click on out of here, motherfuckers, or go to another tarot reader. I'm Listen, I ain't jealous, okay? Ain't no shame in my game. I, I'll fuck with whoever fuck with me. How about that, okay? But you can also look up your moon sign or your rising sign and get a better understanding, okay? The first three cards I'm going to... A pull out is going to represent your overall energy for the next upcoming weeks to the next month. Okay. And the first card we have for my little fake fakes, I'm just, I'm just joking, is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Mid card, the Ace of Swords, and your end card, the King of Pentacles. Okay. So you could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign, such as a Virgo. Capricorn um, or Taurus. It doesn't have to be. This is for some of you. But I'm seeing, you know, you're you're waiting on stability. You're either waiting on stability or you your partner brings stability to your life. Okay? And this can also mean as far as a job. You just receive a stable job or you're going to receive a stable job. Okay? Or a stable relationship. I'm seeing with the Knight of Pentacles, it represents someone who's hard worker. Someone who's take their time. Someone who goes after what they want and they don't take any shortcuts okay so if you're single i'm saying um, just to be patient don't rush into a relationship because the right person is going to come to you with a stabling energy okay if you don't feel like this person is stable gemini it's not for you okay now if they're stable in their earth sign like i said Taurus, virgo or capricorn then these cards are definitely pointing you in the right direction now with the ace of swords i'm saying there's a new beginning to some type of communication so maybe this person was in the past and you guys weren't talking like that and now they're making you feel more stable or more um, comfortable to have a conversation i'm saying that's a scenario that can play out as well also with the ace of swords it represents like i said communication represents victory it represents happiness so there's some situation in your in your life uh my fakies that eventually will turn out for your greater benefit right now and if you're worrying about your job if you're worrying about your relationship you're going to have victory especially if you're patient you're going to have victory, especially if you're patient. Now, for the King of Pentacles, it just basically um, corresponds with the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, this is someone who is very methodical, someone who is very um, analytical, okay? So, you might have that energy around you as well. Someone who's just strategizing all the damn time. This could be you, um, Gemini, okay? It's a new start. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards just to get an uh, in-depth um, reading for you, okay? For the Knight of Pentacles, we have, let's see. We have the Nine of Swords. So, are you worried about stability, okay? Are you worried about your partner bringing, making you happy for a long time or a long for in the long run? Okay, I'm seeing you having some type of trepidation, some type of anxiety when it comes to some stability in your life. Okay. Also, you could be dealing with another air sign. Um, I'm seeing Aquarius, Libra, or or another Gemini. I doubt it, but or another Gemini is possible. Okay. Let me look at y'all mid cards. The Empress. Yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, I'm seeing a new start. So, some of my readers could be pregnant. Okay? Some of my readers could be showing more of their mothering side. Okay? Their mothering side. Let's see. Okay. The Ten of Wands. So you are definitely struggling about stability. Either you don't know if this relationship is stable 
or you don't know if your job is stable okay you want a new beginning i'm seeing you want a, either a new relationship or a new beginning when it comes to your job friends or family you want a new beginning i, I do see that okay let me look at these cards more I do see that. A chariot. Okay, so there's a cancer in here too. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of possibly of all the signs. I'm seeing you, you don't know if you should move on. I'm seeing you're questioning that you don't know if you should move on. You have deep love for this person or this job or this um, family member. I'm seeing you have deep love for them. And, you know, you want to start off fresh, but you're you're worried if shit might not change. You know, that's what I'm seeing. You're worried if shit, shit might not change. And you're focused on stability right now. You're focused on stability and, you, and it's keeping you up. Like, why is this keeping you up? What is the reason that you're having anxiety over stability? Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Mm. So I'm saying there's some manipulation. Okay. There's some manipulation or you feel like someone is playing on your intelligence or you could be playing on someone else's intelligence to see exactly where that head space is at. I'm Gemini. I mean, y'all earth signs. I can, y'all do shit like that. Let me just ask the question to see, you know, I know the answer to the question, but let me ask to see if they're going to be real to real with me about the answer to the question, you know, so I can see if they tell, if they, if they're a liar. No, let me see if them these motherfuckers lie a lot. Let me see. That's a game that y'all motherfuckers play. Y'all play like that. So I'm seeing that, that type of energy is going to be um, surrounding you, Gemini, as well. And like I said, this can be coming from you or your partner, okay? I'd rather come from you. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, it's going to come from you. You're just trying to be sure that these motherfuckers are stable or this job is stable, okay? You just want to be sure. Because like I said, you have love for them. Now, you could be pregnant or this could have to do with children as well. This could be um, your baby's father or your baby's mother or, you know, they have other kids or you have other kids. But another reason why stability is coming um, into your energy field is because you, there's children involved as well. And that's the number one reason why, you know, you want to be stable. Okay, let's see. Let me go ahead find some of these cards for you ace of cups new love so this is new you want some new do you want you're not happy gemini do you want new love or do you think your partners want a new love okay do you want new love let's see let's see you want new love let me see about this damn card oh because you you was played before now there it is so the reason I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, the reason why, you know, your anxiety is um, increasing and you're, you know, not 100%, maybe not anxiety, but you kind of, you know, kind of hesitant um, on some aspects of your life where you will be because, you know, this, this motherfucker or this job or this person has portrayed you in the past. And now you feel like, you know, you was able to catch some sneaky shit going on. If you look at the eye, you was able to catch some sneaky shit that was going on. Like, they left some shit for you to see. I mean, they took some shit, but they left some for you to see. And you saw that shit. And now you're like, should I start over? And I think that's what it's coming. And this makes sense because I know a Gemini that's, you know, going through something similar. Um... But this makes sense. You don't know if you should move, if you should move on or not. And that's what's really keeping you because you want to be stable. You want to be stable, okay? Let me see. Let me see. Can you really trust this motherfucker? Is it okay to be back with this motherfucker or back to this job or, you know, allow this person in your life? Is that okay? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, so, you know... It's a yes and a no. And the reason why it's a yes and a no, Gemini, is because this person, they can be a show-off or you can be in a relationship with them just to piss somebody else off or just because you don't want to be alone. Okay? It's three of pentacles that it does represent someone who is happy. Pentacles, it represents that. Not that you're showing off, but you want to remain like 
you want to put on a front but it's not basically a front it's more it's more of a defense mechanism like we good okay or I'm good and that's what I'm saying you want people to be proud you want people to see you and be like not envious but inspired okay inspired and let me see this person it's a new start you definitely want a new start there's new fire there's new passion there's a new start what I'm seeing from the overall ending of this okay oh boredom you don't want to be so you don't want to be without this situation okay that's what I'm saying. You don't want to be without either the situation or the person. You don't want to go be without them. You don't want to be by yourself, okay? However, you are wanting an aspect in your life to change in order to feel comfortable with this, this person or this situation, okay? And let me say that again. You want something to change or a new beginning with this person or situation in order to feel more stable about your future relationship okay or your future job or your you know something in that effect okay let me give y'all divine reading. hold on one second jackpot okay and it jumped out <laughs> so jackpot let's see <clears throat> jackpot basically means you're surrounding yourself with wins okay you're surrounding yourself with wins do you see dollar signs they're circling around you like a vertebral cyclone everything in your aura is pointing to material gain do you want to manifest a new house more love a better job a new life maybe bigger pockets maybe gucci bingo might be might be wise to make some room so basically you have the energy in your vibratory space to make a new change my advice you know going into your next couple of weeks is to be leery of manipulation also see how people communicate with you and try to have passion within your life and prevent yourself from over worrying because everything's going to play out how that it's going to play out okay everything's going to play out how you're going to play out if you don't trust this person it's best to rectify the situation now instead of it eating you alive or keeping you up at night tell them how you feel okay if you know you have kids and you can't really be playing games or wasting time with a motherfucker because you don't know if they're stable or if, they're, or if they want to be in a relationship if your job you don't know one minute you want to be you know working or the next minute they're going to you know fire you then get time to get a new job okay now if this reading resonates please like share and subscribe thank you